introduce the new birds. Finding out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, trimmed in silver and gold. He weighed in officially 145.6 pounds. 816 fight. His record 15 victories, no defeats. One draw with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the unbeaten welterweight fighting out of Hollywood, California. Presenting Blair the Flair. Across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing tonight black trunks trimmed in blue. He weighed in officially 146.8 pounds and in 19 fights holds a record of 18 victories. Just one defeat, 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el hijo de Santana, California. Alexis! has come alive here at the Galen Center. California is a state Eddie. that loves regional rivalries. It is the wild card gym. Blair Cobbs taking on Alexis Rocha from Santa Ana. One man will emerge as a serious contender at 147 pounds. And I can show you one thing. In our last fight, we saw a tactical fight between two left-handers. In this fight, we're gonna see two southpaws again, but I can tell you right now, it won't be tactical. This is going to be exciting. Our main event is underway. Alexis Rocha in the black trunks. Blair Cobbs in the blue and gold. This one's scheduled for 10 rounds. A strong volume puncher and a southpaw in Rocha stop, and an athletic go, stop, no gifted southpaw in Blair arm. Cobbs. Stop. Very athletic. He can sometimes throw opponents off with the way he, he starts fights and, and, have, and move side to side with these awkward movements. The main thing is, can he keep that chin tucked in? Right? That's the biggest detriment that I see with Cobbs. As athletic as he is, as explosive and confident, can he keep that chin tucked? Well, maybe Chris Mannix has some answers on that. Chris, what do you have for us? Well, Blair Cobb's guys has worked pretty hard this camp, but in the last few weeks, he told his trainer, Freddie Roach, that he wanted to stop sparring for a few days. Roach gave him the time off, and when he came back in his final sparring session, according to Roach, he boxed brilliantly. At the end of that session, Roach told Cobbs to Let bottle go. that, that the way he sparred was exactly how he wanted him to fight. Operate behind the jab, move in and out, and wait for his opportunities. Do not go in there and engage in a firefight. Well, and thank you, Chris. And one thing that Cobbs has done very well throughout his career, when he's at his best, he's punching on the move and then ambushing his opponent guys. with an attack that you don't quite see coming. Shot to the body there from Cobbs. Rocha trying to reply with a heavy jab. And that's what makes it difficult for, for fighters to pin down a fighter like Blair Cobbs. He's always moving laterally to the left and to the right. Rocha specializes in volume punching. Volume punching short, tight shots. Speaking of keeping their chin down, that Rocha does a great job at that. Yes, High guard, does. chin down, and tight, compact punches. Rocha very comfortable here on the inside, but Cobbs connects. A good chopping left hand as well. Stop! Break! Break on your own, guys. Watch those children. Okay, let's go. Final minute of what has been a spirited opening round in our main event, just as expected. Fighters having their moments in here. Rocha landed a nice left uppercut earlier in the fight in this round. And Cobb's doing a good job punching off of angles, moving laterally, stopping like he normally does, and catching Rocha with some good shots as well. Yeah, I think both fighters have to be happy with different segments of this round. 
Mocha particularly in the early going. Cobbs now controlling the perimeter of the ring. And using that athleticism, as both men flurry on the inside. Cobbs doing a good start. job. Good start to our main event. The attention of Cobbs, both of them had their moments in that round. Some good jabs by both of them as well, so I know you love that, Sergio. Absolutely. See, that's a good next. Yeah, good chopping left hand. saw Hector Lopez in the corner of Alexis Rocha. He's become known for some tough love in the corner. We saw him in Rocha's victory over Brad Solomon, telling him, kind of channeling uh, Teddy watching, Atlas during Moore Holyfield, you're going to hate yourself in the morning before the 10th and final round. And Rocha says he likes that. He said that Hector will focus on the negatives sometimes, and that's good for him. Sounds like Chris Mannix. <laughs> Glass half empty. Good job, my good job. Left hand connects from Cobbs as well. Cobbs not allowing Rocha so far to work on the inside for extended periods of time. Stop, stop. Really almost no had a clash of heads break, there. Break Cobbs smothering the attack of Rocha. That's what he's going to have to do for 10 rounds. Nice straight left by Rocha. Rocha just missed with that left hand. That was a big left hand. Rocha's brother, Ronnie Rios, watching from ringside. And as Rocha landed a couple of good shots here in the early Stop, going. Rocha landed some big shots and missing some big shots barely, like Bernard Hawkins said earlier. In order for Cops to win this fight, he's going to have to win. He's going to have to fight a perfect fight and keep that chin tucked Stop, in. Stop, Stop, and I can see that already because Rocha's not missing some some. Big, big shots in the inside by a little bit, just like that. Cobbs connects with the right hook in the midst of that as well, but Rocha still firing away, and Cobbs smiles as if this is what he wants. Rocha's getting closer and closer with those small shots, cutting off the ring. Blair Cobbs just smiled at us as well in the midst of that exchange. The closer Rocha gets, the better he's going to land that straight left. in behind a right hook, just grazing the chin of Cobbs. Final 30 seconds of round two. Yeah. Oh, that's on a good left hand as well. Stop, the straight left are landing the beautifully. Break, break your, there we go. The closer he gets, the better and better they're gonna land. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Final 10 seconds, a couple flush left hands connecting from Alexis Rocha here in round two. Time, time! Round three underway, and I thought that was some good advice from Hector Lopez in the corner of Alexis Rocha, telling him to keep his right hand up, because we were talking about those straight lefts from Rocha, but there were some good right hooks from Blair Cobbs in that last round as well. Cobb does have a, a really good right hook. Right now he's moving really nicely laterally. I want to see more jabs by Rocha. Break that distance with that jab. Just like that. Stop! Stop! Rocha's corner Let's told him they wanted Watch to those hands, okay? explore Watch those some hands. body shots here. And he's obeying those orders. And so is Cobbs, who bangs away to the body as well. I like Cobbs swinging away like that. I, I love the fact that he's trying to get some respect with some power as well. The game plan for Rocha is to break down Cobbs, to, to back him up, get him against the ropes, get those combinations going. Cobbs needs to get respect, and he's attempting it here. Good straight left hand there from Blair Cobbs as he circles back to the outside. And this yeah. is something Cobbs told us was the key for him, to take the initiative and lead those exchanges, because in his words, he described Rocha as a reactionary fight. A retaliation a punch. Retaliate, yes. That's it. And now that he makes a good point. So oh, it's no gonna punching. be singles let's and break, doubles break, for cops. Break, Don't break. mix up combinations with Rocha. That's Rocha's fight. Pretty good combination from Rocha a moment ago. And Rocha's tight short punches are always gonna land before Blair's because he's a little wider. Rocha Cop. shakes off a good shot from Cobbs. No, Cobbs caught him with an awkward punch. It was a straight left and then a right. Mark, it wasn't a one-two from the right southpaw stance. That actually caught the attention of Rocha and buckled him a little Stop. bit. 
Let's go. Let's play. Let's go. Box. And the unpredictable offense of Blair Cobbs. Not exactly a conventional style, but again, we've described his physical gifts. He's shown fight-changing power, and he is certainly one heck of an athlete. If he, if he can keep this, this momentum, this uh, moving laterally, this is a good round by Blair Cobb. Landed some good shots, got stop, the respect stop, stop. of Rocha, and not Lots standing in front of him too long. Rocha's right eye looks a little bit swollen as well. Yeah, there is certainly some swelling. It'll have to be tended to on the eyelid of Alexis Rocha. Both men trying out their foot feints at center ring. And it's Rocha who comes over the top of the left hand. Both men trying to land a counter, but Rocha trying to land that big old man left. No jabs. Ten seconds, ten seconds, guys. This is a good round by Blair Cobbs. Cobbs leaps in with a right hook. Rocha says, don't worry about it. Good action there. You saw the swelling over the eye of Alexis Rocha. Rocha wasting Stop, no time break. getting right Separate, on top separate. of Cobbs here separate. in round four. Let's go. Come on. Cobbs swinging for the fences there. Connects on a right, a right hook. He just missed with a left hand over the top. Shoulder, Rocha connects with shoulder. a sweeping right hand as well. Good body shots on the inside by Cobbs, but he needs to be careful pulling back like that. Rocha swung away. All right, let's, let's check in with Chris Mannix to see who has this one score. Yeah, Corey, I've got a two rounds to one in favor of Alexis Rocha. I thought he landed the far cleaner shots over the first two rounds, but like you pointed out, a very solid bounce back round in the third for Blair Cobb. What I'm curious about is how much more movement will we see from Blair Cobb throughout this fight? Because you see Rocha, he has been stop. walking no Cobb no down for three rounds. Guys. Will Cobb Fox, stop and just start to engage? Thank you, Chris. And it, yeah, I think that's a very interesting question. I, I think that when you're a mover like Cobbs, stop. Stop. that's stop. a style stop. that is a little bit trickier to maintain for 10 rounds than if you're right. just moving forward. And that's exactly what I meant by does Blair have the mentality and composure to keep that game plan going? Yeah, Rocha gave, gave Cobbs a lot of credit saying, he's been, look, I give him credit. He's resilient. He's been dropped. He gets back up. But the main thing I got to give him credit for is athleticism. So pinning him down is going to be difficult for Rocha. Good body shots on the inside Rocha by Rocha right there. Stop, well, both fights have Cobbs been down, and he's come back to win by knockout, so he has shown a ton of heart. He has been a thrilling fighter to watch throughout his career. Fight out of it, fight out of it. Body work there from Rocha. Oh, nice jab. jab from Rocha as well. Round three was a bounce back round for Cobbs. Maybe a little bounce back round here for Rocha. As the pendulum swings. Three solid jabs in a row. I like that by Rocha. Stop! Rocha Stop. cutting Stop. off the ring Stop. nicely, digging down to the body. And that's that's going to be the game plan to trap Cobbs. Cobbs has great lateral movement. He knows how to stay off the ropes, but digging down to the body Stop. is going to keep him stationary. Stop. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. You okay? You all right? Let's go. Box. Final 20 seconds of round four here in our main event. A lot of talking going on in the ring, a lot of nervous energy in this fight. You get the sense that this one could end with one shot. Both guys are certainly Ten looking for it. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Stop at the bell, guys. Time! For round four. Box. A little extra work being done to the eye of Alexis Rocha, which uh, at least in the corner looks like it's bothering him a little bit, but I don't know that we've necessarily, necessarily seen that play out in the in-ring in action. Stop! Let him go! Let him Rough go! Rust up on the don't inside here. Like There's that, okay? a right Let hook to the body from Rocha a moment ago. Now comes over the top of the left hand. Nice body shot on the inside by Cobb. Cobb's laying little short no shots punching, on the inside. Let's go. Cobb's a moment ago, too, when they were 
Engaged on the inside, just using that free hand just to hit Rocha anywhere. Oh, oh big left hand connects from Rocha. And a series of them, and Cobbs is in trouble. Beautiful shot. Cobbs is but he's firing back. Those short straight left landing, the closer he gets. And this is what we wanted to see. How is Blair Cobbs going to react once he's hurt? Is he going to keep that chin down? Cobbs has survived and fought back from these situations before, but never against a fighter quite as good as Alexis Rocha. And there is a ton of time left in round five. Finding a home for that overhand left again and again. Another one. And now it's Cobbs holding on. Cobbs, Cobbs doing a good job smothering the attack, holding on. Rocha should go for a little bit, get more aggressive with those left hands right now. And I think Cobbs is still shook. Well, Sinisa, you posed the question, can Cobbs maintain his composure? He's going to need to do that right now. Definitely is. Grabbing, holding, just to get through this round would be smart uh, for Blair Cobbs. Rocha has 45 seconds to dig down to the body, aim for that left hand again. It Stop. will open right. up. No Blair punches. Cobbs will give you that opportunity for that left hand again. Well, and Rocha went back down to the body a moment ago, and I, I know, Sergio, I know you love that. that. No, that's what's gonna bring down the hand. That's what's gonna get the attention off the head. Just like that. Another right. straight no left punches. hand. No Let's go. Rains down from Rocha. Cobbs trying to find his balance, trying to find some kind of shot to get him back into this fight. Trying to get back on his jab. And with 10 seconds left to go in the round, it looks like he could make it out. 10 seconds, guys, 10. Of what were some scary hours and we, for Blair the Flair. We've seen this from Cobbs Stop before. We know that he's athletic, but we also Stop. know he's resilient. Rocha just missed. Round six begins. And Sinisa, how do you qualify this? Do you think this is more of a case of Rocha who lands another good shot of his game plan breaking Cobbs down or Cobbs starting to unravel? I think it's definitely in Rocha's That's game plan. Right, and like I right, said in the on. beginning of the, of the fight, the closer Rocha gets, the better he's going to land those straight lefts, and that's exactly what's happening, and he's landing them more and more, and Blair's taking the shots very well. I'm very impressed at how well Blair has taken that many straight lefts from Rocha. Well, and those same shots, they are continuing to land, the same ones that had Cobbs hurt in the fifth. Rocha is landing the same ones again here in the early going of round six. Rocha found a home for that left hand. He, if he goes down to the body and hurts, Cobb just one more time to the body, expect that left hand to land big upstairs. And this is exactly what I meant by I wanted Martin to continue to throw a straight left against McKenzie because when two southpaws are fighting, the straight left is closer than it would be if a southpaw is fighting an orthodox fighter. And this is proving it right here with uh, Alexis Rocha and Blair Cobb. Well, Cobbs catches Rocha there with a little scoop uppercut as he's on the move. Those headshots are getting too good for Rocha. He should go back to the body. Go back to the body on both sides. That will get Cobbs to stay still, get stay stationary. Then you can land something big upstairs again. Midway through the sixth round here, Cobbs just kind of gathering himself, using the perimeter a little bit more. Maybe not a bad strategy. See, Rocha already threw three straight left hands to the body. All three of them missed, but it's it's letting Cobbs know that he's going down there. That's going to set up the overhand left up to the top. Rocha fell short with that left hand a moment ago. Flurries to the body, now back to the outside. A lot of energy being used from the legs of Blair Cobbs right now, but you can see that he's in fantastic shape. You get the sense of Cobbs, is, you know, he's just trying to shake off what happened in round five. He's just moving a little bit. It might not be the best idea right now for him to engage. Well, he's using a lot of energy moving uh, laterally, left to right. But he is athletic, he, is, he does have a stronger, a strong lower body and his legs are, are keeping up nicely right now. Good bounce to his step. Counter right 
hook there from Cobbs. The right hand got there before the left hand coming over the top from Alexis Rocha. Quieter moments here for Blair Cobbs, and he certainly needed them. Round seven underway. Some brilliant boxing minds working in the corner in the life of Blair Cobbs. His mentor, Bernard Hopkins, now trained by Freddie Roach. And speaking of Freddie Roach, he is standing by with our Chris Mannix. Freddie, what do you want to see from Blair? Uh, I want to see more activity, not moving back so much, and backing this guy up with the one two. When he was doing that early in the fight, he was having success, but now he's, he's moving too much and he's, he's losing Stop. rounds. Don't touch him. Roach has got a lot of momentum here right these last few rounds. How does he change that? We, we start using the jab and the one two right down the middle and back him up. Take control right away. He needs to do that right now. Thanks, Freddie. Well, Freddie Roach thinking that Cobbs needs to start moving forward. You know, we've never really seen Cobbs as kind of like a dedicated pressure fighter like that. It's not something we've seen from him before. And for him to be asked to do that in round seven, it's a tough task for him right now. Yeah, it's kind of tough to be a come forward aggressive fighter against Stop. a fighter Don't like Rocha because he throws Don't these Stop. very sharp, short combinations. But you heard Freddie Roach, the legend, say that he wanted more jab. jab. Yes. yes. More <laughs> jabs. And, and, then I, the, and I got to agree because when you're dealing with an aggressive fighter like Rocha, as you just said. I'm surprised you agree, Sergio. You got to pop him with that jab coming in. You got to double him up. That's the way you back up an aggressive fighter. Yeah, the first two rounds, they were both using their jab very well. Yeah, but so Cops I actually, I do, I do agree with you now, finally, about the jab. <laughs> and when Rocha does throw his jab, oh. it lands beautifully. There we go. Cops just missed over the top with a big right hook. Just like that. Okay. Good point now, Rocha back on his jab, now talking to Cobbs. <laughs> big left hand connects from Cobbs. That's the best shot of the fight from him. That was a big, well-timed <laughs> shot by Cobbs right there, but you gotta give Rocha credit. He took that well. That's the shot that Freddie Rhodes wanted Cobbs no, no to walk no Rocha into, and he found it with less than a minute to go in round seven. Jab to the body, straight left by Rocha. I think that's what he's trying to set up. Yeah, more body shots by Rocha. That's the way you're going to get the cops from stop moving so much. Ten seconds left to go here in round seconds, seven. The best seconds. shot of the fight for Blair Cobbs was landed in another one right down the pipe. Rocha shakes his head no, but that was a near round eight underway. And you have to say, Everyone has an opinion on Blair Cobbs. They feel strongly about him one way or another, stop, 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 mainly because stop, 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 of all stop, stop, stop. the trash talking, the antics. But for those who love Blair Cobbs, that's another reason why. His ability to pull things out when he's under duress, big shots like that to get him back into this fight. We've seen him do it time and time again. And that's exactly why Hector Lopez was telling Rocha, or yelling at Rocha and telling him, do not reach because a fighter like Blair can counter you with a big shot. Stop! No punching! A compelling main event, getting even more compelling. Chris Mannix, how are you scoring this one? I've got it five rounds to two in favor of Alexis Roach. No I thought Blair Cobbs looked pretty good on that last round, bounced back nicely, landed two of his bigger shots of the fight, but I have been really impressed with the work of Alexis Rocha. He's disciplined, he fights behind the jab, and for most of this fight, he has landed the cleaner shots. Thank you, Chris. And it, again, that's something we said before. Rocha's style, it feels like he can replicate this round after round. But Cobbs, he's going to need something big, it would seem, at this point. He's found that shot a couple of times. He's going to need it more often. Boy, he almost found it right there with a the short left hand. But, um, you know, no, Cobbs is one punch away from, from changing, changing this fight as well. And so is Rocha, who connects on a big right hook. Cobbs is hurt. Cobbs is hurt. Cobbs is seriously hurt. Are you okay? And I don't know how steady he is right now. He staggers back to the ropes. He'll get a chance to continue. There is an eternity left in this round. 
for Alexis Rocha. Cop dipped right into that uppercut, which is double the power. Nice body so. shot by Rocha. I think Cops felt that as well. Rocha goes downstairs to the body. Rocks Cobbs once again with a right hook. And look at how patient Rocha is being with that power. Digging down to the body just to set up something upstairs. This is patient Stop aggression Stop by Alexis Rocha right, right, right now. Go. He will let something big again. Show me something, Cobb. Come on. Rocha just misses with that left hand. Jab to body straight left up top. Rocha setting up that big left hand upstairs. Another left hand connected. Cobbs barely remains on his feet. That one wobbled him. Final 15 seconds as Blair Cobbs in survival mode for a second time in this fight. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Cobbs eating a flurry here in the corner. And he will barely make it out of that round. Rudy Baragan, the referee, was about to stop that fight. I'm glad he didn't. He came very close to stopping that fight in the Let's corner. He told Blair Cobbs he needs a knockout to win this fight. And in order to do that, he's going to walk through the fire that Alexis Rocha has been throwing at him. Left hand connects from Cobbs. Short Cobbs left hand by Cobbs right there. With a fighter like Blair Cobbs, you never know what you're gonna expect. He's so unorthodox, he's so come from behind. He can pull out something from anywhere. So that's why I'm glad the referee didn't stop this fight, even though he is taking a beating. Big right hook wobbles Cobbs. He was nearly caught up in the ropes. The mouthpiece is out, and Rocha is all over him. It. That is it. What a performance from Alexis Rocha. Rudy Barragan puts a halt to the belt. Your winner by KO victory, De Santana, California, Alexis Rocha! A statement win for Alexis Rocha.